You've certainly looked through this glass somewhere. It's used in any number of public buildings, including schools. It's called safety glass. But a lawsuit launched in Ontario is arguing it's a potential danger to students across the country. None of the allegations have been proven in court. Ron Charles has the story, and a warning, some of the images are graphic. The Bristol boards chronicle the events that Sean Lloyd alleges changed his life in an instant. I was a little late for class, so I decided to jog. And as I was jogging to class, I went to open this door. Lloyd says his hand went right through the glass pane. When he pulled his arm out, it looked like this. Yeah, that was about a half an hour after the incident. He's suing the school board for $5 million. The Halton District Catholic School Board refuses to comment while the case is in litigation. This is what Lloyd put his arm through, glass with wire mesh encased inside. This wired glass is called safety glass because it slows a spreading fire by holding broken shards in place. Glass manufacturer Rob Botman says that is the very property that makes it so unsafe. So what happened is the student ran into the glass, broke through it, and then his arm becomes lodged inside this mess of glass shards and wires. And so when he pulls his arm out, it rips his arm to shreds. His company makes what he calls a safer alternative using ceramic glass. This engineering professor is providing expert testimony for Lloyd's lawsuit. He says when hit, wired glass is actually far weaker than ordinary window glass. For a 200-pound man, the speed at which you would need to, with an outstretched arm, use to break uh, a, a pane of this size is about five kilometers per hour, so that would be classified as a brisk walk. Greg Abel convinced U.S. authorities to ban wired glass in virtually all new construction after his son was severely injured in 2001. He says much of his evidence came from research by a Canadian insurance organization for Ontario school boards. I don't understand why it is that, uh, that, that Canada would be so far behind when, uh, when they've had all the tools to work with for quite some time. And the replacement glass in that door Lloyd put his hand through is still wired glass. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.